Hello all, Dan from DroneBlog.com here. Today's video will be a beginner's walkthrough of setting up the DJI NEO for its first flight. We'll provide an in-depth flight guide soon. If you're either new to drones or experienced, you might have noticed that the DJI NEO is unique in the DJI ecosystem. You can fly the NEO without a controller, with only your phone, or with the DJI Remote Controller and DJI Goggles 3. With so many aspects of the NEO that can be covered, today we'll only go through what is needed to get the NEO out of the box and up in the air. We'll go into all the various flight modes and ways to control the NEO in future videos. What comes in the box? There are a few different NEO combos that can currently be purchased. There's the drone only kit, a combo package, and a combo package that also includes a traditional RCN3 remote controller. If you have the drone only kit, which is perfect for a fully autonomous flight, it comes with the DJI NEO, one battery installed in the NEO, two spare propellers, a screwdriver, and a USB-C charging and data cable. The combo comes with the DJI NEO, three batteries, and a charging hub. It also comes with two spare propellers, a screwdriver, and a USB-C charging and data cable. The RC-N3 combo comes with everything mentioned in the standard combo. It adds a DJI RC-N3 remote controller, which enables you to fly the NEO like a traditional WHOOP or camera drone. Looking at the NEO, we see it is quite small in hand, and it is very lightweight. Now starting with the front. There is a small gimbal guard, which protects the NEO's single-axis gimbal. Unlike traditional camera drones, which generally have three-axis gimbals, the single-axis gimbal on the NEO is electronically stabilized using DJI's internal software. You might think of it in the same way DJI stabilizes their action cam footage. To take off the gimbal cover, simply press down on the cover with two fingers and remove it. Continuing around the drone, we see there are two buttons, one on the rear and one towards the front. The button towards the front is used to choose the various autonomous flight modes. These modes being Follow Me, Droney, Circle, Rocket, Spotlight, and Custom. Custom is where the user can define what the flight mode does. To choose the flight mode, Press the button until you get to your desired mode. The button on the rear of the NEO is dual purpose. It turns the NEO on and off and is also used to pair the NEO with a physical remote control. To power on the NEO, press the power button once then hold it. You will hear an audible tone and see the LED light up. To turn the NEO off, you would press the power button once and again hold it. Below the power button on the back there is a USB-C port that can be used to charge the battery when it's installed in the NEO, update the NEO's firmware using the supplied data and charging cable, something we'll talk about a little bit later, and also transfer footage from the internal storage to a computer or mobile device. Regarding the internal storage, you'll notice there is no SD card slot on the NEO. This is because like the non-pro versions of DJI's mini drones, the NEO does not use micro SD cards. All footage from the NEO is saved on 22 gig of internal storage. Thankfully, in addition to accessing the footage from a PC or Mac, footage can be wirelessly transferred to a mobile device using DJI's quick transfer feature. At the bottom of the NEO, there are vision and infrared vision sensors. These sensors are used to help the NEO remain stable and maintain a steady hover. The NEO does not have obstacle avoidance sensors. This is something you'll need to be aware of as you have the NEO follow you around. Lastly, there is the intelligent flight battery. The battery provides the NEO with up to 17 minutes of flight time with the prop guards installed. Of course, flight times will vary based on actual flight conditions. To remove the battery, 
Press the tab and slide out the battery. To put the battery back in, align the grooves on the battery with those on the Neo and slide the battery in. You hear a click when the battery seats correctly. There are two different ways to charge the Neo's batteries. Sadly, as with most of DJI's newest drones, a wall charger is not included. While DJI suggests using their 65 watt charger, we found that any 65 watt or even 100 watt PD chargers will work well. If you have the drone only kit, you will need to charge the battery while it's inserted into the Neo. To do so, locate the USB C port at the rear of the Neo and simply plug it into the supplied USB C data and charging cable and into your charger. If you have either of the combo packages with the three batteries and battery hub, you'll be able to charge all three batteries simultaneously in the hub. This can be done with any charger rated 45 watts or higher. To check how much battery power is left on the batteries while in the charging hub, press the power button on the side of the hub. To charge the batteries, ensure they are fully seated in the hub. Plug the charger into an outlet and then plug in the supplied USB-C cable into the hub. After a moment, you will see the batteries begin to charge. If you opted for the combo with the RC N3 remote controller, you will also need to charge the RC. To charge the RC N3, locate the USB-C port on the bottom of the controller and plug it in. When charging starts, the LEDs on the front of the remote controller will begin to blink, signifying charging. With all the batteries charged and ready to go, there is a very important step needed to start flying the Neo. Yes, the Neo is unique in that it doesn't need a controller or a phone to fly. However, to fly the Neo for the first time, you will need to activate it and update the firmware using your phone. To do this, you will need to have the DJI Fly app installed on your phone. If using an iPhone, you can search for the DJI Fly app in the Apple App Store. The DJI Fly app for Android is only available online on DJI's site. To download DJI Fly for Android, do a Google search for DJI Download Center. In the results, Choose DJI Fly and you'll be brought to the software downloads page. After you've installed the DJI Fly app, open DJI Fly. Next, turn on the Neo by pressing the power button once, then holding the power button. On the left side of the main DJI Fly screen, you'll see a glowing outline around the message, Quick Transfer, New DJI Neo Detected. Tap that box. The Neo will now start the process of connecting to the DJI Fly app via Wi-Fi. Press and hold the power button on the Neo for 3 seconds. After a few seconds, you should be presented with the option to join the Neo's Wi-Fi network. Press Join. After a few seconds, the Neo will be paired with the DJI Fly app. On the Activate DJI Device screen, choose Activate. At this point, Either log in with your DJI account if you have one, or create a new account. Once logged in, the Neo will begin activating. You can either choose to bind the activation code or skip. After you make your choice, you'll be brought back to the main DJI Fly screen. Now at this point, you will need to install the new firmware. Choose Install to begin the process. Now. Tap download and the new firmware will begin installing on the Neo. After 100%, the firmware will be fully installed. If your Neo does not restart, turn it back on, then tap connect on the main screen. You will then be brought into the Neo section of the DJI Fly app where you can either watch a few getting started tutorials or skip to the main page with the options to change the parameters of the various intelligent flight modes. This will get you up in the air. Well, that's all for this video. 
Check back with us soon to get a complete guide on how to use the NEO software within the DJI Fly app. For more tutorials and reviews, feel free to head to DroneBlog.com. Thank you.